Hey, it's Lisa and Lisa's Attic. How are you today? This is a tough subject and I usually don't do things like this, but I think if you bear with me, maybe you'll um, see an interesting side of this situation. I hope so. You know, when I was young and uh, my mom would take me to church, the first thing you would do is you would walk in the doors and there would be holy water and you would bless yourself and you would genuflect. You would take a knee. And then you would walk over to the pew, and before you even sat down, you would do the same thing. You would bless yourself, and you would genuflect, take a knee, and then you would sit down. Most of the time, you would have your head bent, and during certain parts of the Mass, you would take two knees. And that's how I grew up. What does genuflecting or taking a knee really mean? Well, it means respect. It also means surrendering. It's surrendering to a higher power. It's realizing that you are a very small part of a very, very large world. And be that as it may, when I see someone taking a knee, I think to myself, surrender. Surrender that to a higher power. It's not a bad thing. You know, when my kids were in school, uh, there was a coach, Coach Falzone. And uh, he would have all the boys gather around and he would say these words. He'd be like, take a knee. And they would all go down. All the boys. He'd walk into the room, take a knee. they go down like this. You know, someone got hurt on the field. Take a knee. Both teams would go down. Surrendering. Respect. Understanding. I know that I have been at a hospital bed more times than I like to say. And when someone is ill, I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees next to that bed, praying. Now in my spiritual path, I find myself always honoring Earth, Father God. I take a knee and I, I surrender. I surrender to the higher power knowing that I am such a small part in this very huge world. So, that being said, when someone takes a knee... Are they just surrendering? Are they just saying, I, I don't know what else to do. I'm such a small, small person in a very large fishbowl. You know, when the higher powers that be send seeds of discourse down and we fight amongst ourselves, we are no longer strong. It is the masses, us, the ones who are in the trenches, the, the strong ones. And I think the powers that be are afraid of that. And so they send these little seeds of misinformation and hatred down so that we can fight amongst ourselves, not realizing that we're all in the same trenches. I take a knee to those that served our country because I know I could never do something like that. I take a knee to all of you who have served our country, all of you who have lost sons, daughters, mothers, fathers in protecting our country, I put you on that same level as I would do the great creator. That's huge. I take a knee for you. I take a knee for the firefighters in California for what they're doing, putting their lives on the line for all of them, for all those residents I take a knee for all those police officers who go out every day not knowing if they'll come home to their loved ones. You know, yesterday I was at the airport and I heard a security officer uh, just going on duty, you know. He had his gun, he was all ready to do his job. And he was in the corner and he was texting, he was FaceTiming, I guess, his son or daughter. And he said, baby, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you at 8.30, I'll be at work, but, you know, you be good and, and I'll see you later. And he only just wants to get home to his kids. If you were to ask every one of your neighbors what they want in this world, and you were to say, would you want peace? I doubt that you would find anyone that say, no, I really would like war. I would like some war. I would like some bombs thrown. Yeah, that's what I want for today. No, everyone wants peace. That's what everyone wants. Everyone wants to be able to raise their children, to see their great-grandchildren, 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 you know, they just want peace. They just want to see the sun rise and maybe 
hold the hand of a loved one. Time is so short. And so today, what I've decided, as I gave you this little analogy of how I think taking a knee, genuflecting, is just an act of surrender, that maybe we can come together and realize that for those players who are doing that, they're surrendering. They're realizing that I just don't know what else to do. If you believe that racism doesn't exist, then I don't know really what else to say to you because it does. It does when we hear stuff like white thoroughbred, white thoroughbred woman, mm, you know, things like that. And I'm sure she didn't really mean to say that, but when things are said like that, it, it realizes we have racism everywhere. So someone taking a knee and saying, I surrender. I just don't know how to bring this world together anymore. I just don't know how to bring peace into this world. You really can get mad at them? The powers that be, don't they have something else to do besides worrying that someone gets on their knee? Jane flex. The whole church. <laughs> the whole entire Catholic church. Jenny Flex to the big guy. I think that's a great place to be. I think anyone who does that is honoring and surrendering and showing that I'm just not that strong. I don't know where to go. I'm looking for direction. So my thing is that my birthday is 919, September 19th. I have a very unique birthday. I'm sure everyone believes that birthday is unique, but it's interesting to me because the nine is the end. The one is beginnings, and then the nine again is completion. So on 919, I am going to do a kneel, a genuflect at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. End. Let's end this at nine o'clock for five minutes. I am asking everyone to take time out for my birthday on 919 at nine o'clock to take a knee. Take a knee for all those people you love. Take a knee for the firefighters, for the police officers. Take a knee for those who are trying to make this world a better place. Take a knee for those politicians who are really, really trying to cut through some red tape of bureaucracy, trying to make our country, our town, your city, a better place. There's a lot of bad in this world, and these people need us. So take a knee for them. Take a knee for the child that you lost for the partner that's no longer around, for your best friend. I will take a knee for you for just listening today. I will take a knee to all those who feel that when they get in the car that they are targeted for what they look like, what they believe. I will take a knee for all those parents who don't have their kids with them, who don't know where they are. I will take a knee for all those children who are battling depression who are battling drugs, I will take a knee for all of you on that day. I want peace. I think we all want peace. I think taking a knee is a good thing. If we can do it in our temples, in our churches, on our mats, bowing our head down and taking a knee, I don't think it's a bad thing. I know I do it in reverence. And just because someone wants to stand up and place their hand on their chest, that's fine too. However you're comfortable, do it. But I know if I was at a dying person's bed, I wouldn't be standing at attention. I'd be taking a knee and placing my hand on my heart and praying, surrendering. That's what I would do. So I don't want to be told how I could honor anybody or anything. And then we've showed you. So join me on September 19th, 919, the end, the beginning, and completion. Let's join together. We are so strong. We are so powerful. There are so many of us. We need to stop fighting. We really need to because the powers that be, they're afraid of us. They really are. There's a lot more of us than them. And when they trickle down the seeds of hate, they laugh at us. They laugh at us because they watch us fighting. They watch us gossiping. They watch us tearing each other down. 
and they sit in their white ivory towers laughing. And while we sit in the trenches, all of us, police officers, firefighters, good politicians, mothers and dads, regular people, we're in the trenches. All of us together are in the trenches. And again, there's more of us than them. So take a knee with me on my birthday. I ask for no funds, nothing. Just at nine o'clock, take a knee with me, share this video, and let's get the word out. Who knows where this can go? I've seen other videos go viral. I would like this one to be one of those. If I died on 920 the next day, I would have done a good thing. At least my life would have meant something. Take a knee.